morning everyone happy Wednesday oh my god this ice is making so much noise it is Wednesday April 28th I believe welcome to vlog 7 currently here just ready for the day it's 9 35 and I've already done so much today this morning I woke up at 5 a.m. and I went to the gym came home showered walked the dogs made some breakfast and now currently having an iced coffee with some oat milk. I thought today would be a really good day to film because I have some like beauty products that I really want to share with you guys that I'm currently loving so, so much. So I have some perfume, skincare, and then some hair, hair care. Not really a lot of makeup. I haven't really been wearing makeup these days. I don't know if you guys can actually tell but I haven't worn foundation in a few months now. So yeah, just kind of wanted to share some of that stuff with you guys. Probably within like an hour or so, I'm gonna go to um, my pottery studio that I have a membership with because I'm gonna be making some pottery. If you guys have been following me for quite some time on social media, you would know that I started doing pottery during quarantine. I really got into it. And then when things started opening up, a new studio in, um, the town I used to live in opened up a pottery studio. It's not that far from my house. It's like a 10 minute drive. And I took a couple classes there. I think I took classes for a couple of months. Maybe it was like a total of like six to eight weeks. And now I have like a membership with them. So I can go in seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I can make ceramics, which is so exciting because I knew two years ago when I started planning my business that I wanted to have like a ceramic section, like small batch ceramics in my small business. So I'm super excited. And I guess this will be the announcement that I'm gonna be doing ceramics for my small business. Super exciting that like I can finally do that. And it's something that like I'm super passionate about. So I'm gonna be going to my uh, pottery studio and I'll probably take you guys along with me and you guys can like watch me make some ceramics and then you guys can like see the process of me like slowly making them for my store i'm gonna grab my coffee and i'm gonna bring the camera and we're gonna go upstairs into the office so i can share with you guys first some of the products that i'm loving Okay, so now we are in the office. I sat down because I wanted to just share with you guys some of the products that I mentioned that I'm currently loving. I'm actually gonna start off with this perfume. So this is from the company Dossier. If you guys haven't heard of Dossier before, or I'm sure so many of you guys have had, they are a perfume company that specializes in iconic, really well-known scents with designer quality and no markup. So they are extremely affordable perfumes. I was super excited when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try one of their perfumes. And of course I said, yes. I love that for every scent, they have all of the notes there listed for you because I totally get that online shopping for perfumes can be really tricky, especially if you don't like know what the scents are gonna be. Dossier makes it so easy for you to just go on the website and like look at all of the scents. And I basically chose my scent based off of like scents that I typically love and lean towards more but also towards perfumes that I've always really wanted to try. So the scent I decided to go for was Woody Sandalwood, and I am so excited for this. It smells so good. Definitely a unisex style perfume, which I think is really cool because I can share with my husband if I wanted to. I chose this one because I was really inspired by the fact that I've always wanted to try a Lilavo perfume. Those perfumes are so expensive. Yes, I get it. They smell good. The bottle is super aesthetic but so is this. This is a beautiful bottle. I noticed also like on their website that like depending on the color of the perfume, they really do make an effort to like match the wording and everything on the bottle. I don't know if that actually matters to a lot of you guys, but I love aesthetic things. I love packaging. I always rave about packaging when I talk about products that I'm loving right now. And the packaging on this one is just really, really pretty. And I just love the effort that they put into it. This smells so good. I'm like obsessed with the smell. I've already worn it a few times and gotten compliments on it. So this is definitely gonna be, I think, one of my favorite spring scents right now. 
because it is a little bit woody. I'm also gonna bring this one into the fall and winter, but I do love this for right now. It's still like light enough. Um, and I'm just like obsessed with the scent. Scents range anywhere between $29 and $49, which is super great for a perfume that is gonna smell exactly like designer ones and have the exact same quality. Lilabo perfumes typically retail for about $130, and I think that's for the little one. So to get this one for $49 was just such a good deal. There's just so many good ones on the website. Actually, I'm gonna leave listed down below like three more scents that I think would absolutely be amazing. Make sure to go check them out, linked in the description bar below if you guys wanna test out any of them. And because this part of the video is sponsored by Dossier, I just wanna let you know, I do have a coupon code for you guys to go over and check them out. But if you use my code 10iris, it's gonna give you some dollars off of your purchase. So make sure that you use that code. I'm also gonna leave that all listed down below so that you can get one of these glorious perfumes that smells so good and has the exact same quality as a designer one. And thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this part of the video. Moving on, as mentioned, I just have a couple of like skin and hair care things that I've been loving recently. So I'm not gonna lie. I tried jumping on the CeraVe train and it was not working for me. I don't know what it was, but the CeraVe products just do not work for my skin. If anything, I feel like it broke me out even more. And that is when I discovered the brand Sukin. So I ordered this stuff online. At one point, they were selling it at my local Target and then Target stopped, but it's still on the website, which is really weird. So I just ordered some of their skincare products online. I've heard really good things about this brand and I liked that it was Australian made, vegan, a little bit natural, paraben free. So yeah, I have been really just using this on my skin recently and I have really been loving it. The process to getting my skin back to uh, normal has been slow and steady, but I did expect that, especially since completely switching over skincare products right away. But I've just really been loving the way my skin has been feeling with these products lately. So I'm just gonna quickly run you through what I've been using. First thing I've been using is the Foaming Facial Cleanser. And let me just mention, the bottle is actually like almost done. <laughs> so I've been using this probably for about a month and a half now. And yeah, I'm almost done with it. So it's almost time for another refill. And that's how you know that like you use product well and that you actually like it is when like you're almost done with it. So that's how I know that I will be repurchasing it again. For days that I feel like I need a little bit of a scrub, um, I've been using the Sukin Revitalizing Facial Scrub. I just apply like a small amount and then I kind of rub it like on areas where whiteheads or blackheads would appear. So like my nose, maybe like my top lip right here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've just been using. Then I have the Micellar Cleansing Water. This I've been using really to just remove makeup. It's super gentle on the eyes as well, which is what I like. And then in the morning, I'll just use like a facial moisturizer. Um, so I really like this one. It's like super hydrating, very soft, very creamy. Little goes a long way. Yeah, just a super nice brand. I've, I've been really loving this. Sometimes you see brands like this in like Target and you don't really think anything of it, but like sometimes the simplest products and the simplest brands really are the best. And this is what's been working for my face recently. At night, I haven't been using the Sukin moisturizer, what I actually have been doing for a few months now. And if there is one thing I, I want you guys to like take away from this video, it's this product, petroleum jelly. Guys, this has been the best moisturizer for my skin all winter long. All winter, and if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you would know like in the winter, I get the worst dry skin ever. It's like patches of flakes all over my skin. It's just the way it's always been since being in my 20s. I don't know why. <laughs> it just happened all of a sudden one year and every year like clockwork, it happens. This is the first winter it did not happen. And I think it's because of this. At night, what I'll do is, look, I've made a dent too. I'll grab some and I rub it all over my face. And it has helped so much keep it like moisturized at night, especially. And in the morning when I wake up, I'll just do like my regular skincare and then add the moisturizer. 
But yeah, I started doing this around, I want to say late November and I have not stopped and my skin has never been more moisturized. Okay, moving on to some hair care products. Um, my hair has never felt like thicker before. If you go back on any of like my videos, maybe like two, three, even four years back, you'll notice how like thin my hair is in those videos. My hair is so much thicker now and I 1000% believe it is because of this product right here. This is the Fable and Main Holly Roots Hair Oil. I discovered this through a girl on TikTok who had like this long brunette luscious hair and she gave full credit to this product and I never ran to the website so quickly and purchased something. <laughs> yeah, I started using this product probably in December as well. I'm almost done with it. Like the oil is down here. So I've been using it for a couple months now and I don't use it like every single day. I probably use it like once a week. So basically it comes in little drops. You put a couple of drops like on your hand, you rub your hands and then you massage it into your scalp. That's where it belongs. And then with the excess oil on my hands, I kind of usually just like rub it through my hair to like make it like a little bit more silky and smooth. And typically you would leave it on your hair for a couple of hours. I like to do it overnight, especially if I know I'm gonna wash my hair the next day. And basically all of the vitamins from the oil just help stimulate the scalp, help make your hair thicker, longer, fuller and keep it from breakage. So I've really been loving that product. It has amazing reviews online too, and I couldn't rave about it anymore. It's an amazing product. Another product I just don't think I can not live without. And yeah, those are basically all of the products that I have been loving recently. Um, once again, if you liked anything that I shared today, I'm gonna leave it all linked down below. I just changed, this is currently the new outfit and I'm probably just gonna put my hair in like a high ponytail I just have it in a low one for now and the reason I changed is because you cannot look pretty doing ceramics you just can't decided to wear something that I was okay getting much more dirty currently in the process of packing my bag if you guys are wondering this bag is on my website you can go shop it I'll leave the link in the bio and I'm just gonna grab a few things that I want for my pottery session today I keep saying pottery and ceramics I'm so sorry I just I always switch off on them so today I'm gonna bring some of my stamps I got these on Amazon and I really liked the font of them because they were all like capital letters I'm trying to find some that are not in caps as well though but i really liked these so i was playing around with them recently at home and i'm gonna bring them today so that i can like continue to like play around with them and i also need to bring my ipad the reason i need to bring my ipad is because this is where oh sorry you can see my vacuum in the background um this is where i have been creating all of my designs for like ceramics it's also where i went on to create my logo my color stories like everything so i'll just briefly show you guys on procreate i have been creating all of the prints that i have been wanting for my store got some yin yang some checkered some flowers some stripes what i love as well is that it's all just so cohesive with like my business and my color stories and whatnot. So yeah, I'm super excited. This is all of the glazes I recently ordered. I'm so excited. It came in last week, finally. And I think I got a really good brand and good color story. So put my name on like all of them. I have this really pretty like yellow. I'm so excited for that one. What's this one? This one is a light grape. That's gonna be a really pretty purple. This looks like another blue. This one is called Light Heather. So really, really fun colors. And then I just placed my name on all of them just in case I accidentally leave them um, at the studio one day on accident. I don't think I will, but I'll probably only bring like the colors I need each time I glaze. These are just like some practice ones that I've been doing at home. These have not been fired. I think that was like the first one I ever made. And I know it looks huge, but something you need, you need to understand is that um, when you fire products in a kiln, it does shrink in size. So these will be a little bit smaller by like a few centimeters. Uh, but yeah, these are just like some practice ones. 
as you can see, like imagine like this with like the yin yang print on it. So freaking cute. So yeah, I've just been like practicing at home. Oh no, my plate just cracked, but that's because they haven't been fired. Um, yeah, just got some natural plates, some dishes, this, oh, I'm so sad, but like this was just the plate that I made. It's like a patisserie pie plate. Has a little detail, like the curved detail. I just made a plate like this um, Tuesday at the studio and it's currently drying. But yeah, these were all just like practice ones. So I just kind of had them all in here, just like chilling. And like every time I was at home and I was just practicing, um, I put them in here. See. Oh, this is just like a pure bright glaze, but I have this one here that I was playing around with, with like the wording. So this one just says good morning. And then I also just put in here, hello. But that's gonna be such a cute one once I start actually making them. Um, and firing them but once again these are just like practice ones that i was doing at home okay so now that i showed you everything we are gonna start heading over there now because it's around 11 o'clock and i want to spend at least two to three hours there today so we're gonna go and get a head start There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone 